Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia and my intention is to inspire you with art, to help you to improve your painting skills and to unlock your creativity. Today's video is about how to paint fur and in this case a patterned cat fur. I've already laid out a grid and drawn the shape of the cat. As always, I do an acrylic underpainting first, with which I define the basic color tone that I want to use for the background and for the cat. In this case, I choose a light blue, which causes an expressive cold warm contrast within the painting, because the cat is gonna be orange. Moreover, I think about from which angle the light source is coming and paint the background accordingly. Here the light is coming from the lower corner at the left hand side, so I use more white to make it brighter. Then I paint roughly the patterns of the fur. I start with the white spots, continue with the dark stripes and fill out the rest with a lighter color, kinda the mid-tone. And it is really just a raw structure, I paint no hairs yet, just a pattern of the fur. In my opinion, it is easier this way, because then we can focus on one thing at a time. For the eyes, I use the same approach. For now, I just paint the pupils, the basic color tone of the eye, and the shadow parts, which are mostly at the edge. Then we come to the second layer, which is in oils. I paint first the background with a slightly different color and create a nice and even gradient. A really good way to paint the fur is to first paint the dark areas and mid-tones, blend them and then with a brighter color paint the single hairs on top. In order to create these tiny thin hairs, you need a really thin brush. Here I use the size 1. So as I just said, I paint the dark areas first and blend them with the mid-tone areas. The color that I use for the mid-tone areas is the same that I use for the single hairs in the shadow parts, because obviously the hairs aren't that bright in those areas. Then I use a brighter color and paint the highlight spots. A little hint here, for a more realistic effect, sometimes you want to paint only the tip of the hair brighter, not the whole hair. I use the same approach for the face of the cat and I really make sure to blend the colors first and then create an even smoother transition by painting every single hair. Then I paint the ears. They have a dark rim and get brighter towards the middle. So I create this gradient and paint with a brighter color these typically long hairs. After that, I paint all the highlighted hairs. Here you have to take into consideration which part of the face gets lit up the most and paint the brightest hairs in this area. In this case, it is the left hand side of the face. Finally, we paint the snout and whiskers. There are some shadow spots where the whiskers start, so use your shadow color, paint some spotted lines and blend them with a brighter color by painting some small hairs over them. For the whiskers, we use pure white and a tiny brush. Make sure that the brush is really flat and then look where the whisker starts and ends, make a mark and connect these dots. In order to paint realistic eyes, you need to look at the shadow areas. They are mostly in the upper and lower part of the eye. 
I paint the shadow with the color of the iris mixed with black and blend it with the bright color of the iris. In addition, there is always some sort of glossy spot in the eye for which I use pure white. And then I deepen the contrast around the nostrils and take a final look at the painting if something needs to be refined as well. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also let me know in the comments down below if you still have questions regarding this topic and what you want to see next. I love to hear from you and I wish you a wonderful day. Until next time! Thank you.